Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. We have here today uh, another video repair. Uh, Thermal Tech Grand Series RGB 650 watts. This one. Since the screws is already unscrewed, we're going to open this one so we can check inside. Now we're going to check these are the components inside our power supply. First, we're going to check the continuity on its line connection and the switches. We're using our multimeter tester. This power switch, we're going to check that one. And now we'll start checking the AC line. This line one, the AC cord connection. Put your test probe at the male plug, then the other one to the board connection. Okay, we, we put our this probe to the board. We got a continuity on this line one. Okay. Then we're going to check also line two. It also okay. So our easy line connection is good. Then we check also the switch connection or we may check first the fuse if the fuse is okay okay our fuse is okay then we start to check now the switch the power switch Oh, upon our checking, we found out that the power switch has a uh, defective. And after this checking, we're going to continue. We start to check. 
check at the board for looking for some defective components or the condition of the board we'll just remove this fan connection so we can easily check the board And now this is the back area of our board so we're going to check first at the primary section of the board we start checking on its components at the primary section Since we could not find any defective components in the primary section, so we're going to remove the defective switch. This one, at this area, we're going to remove the defective switch. We'll just cut the connection. Okay, we'll already cut the two connections and it's ready to remove this one. We use a flat screw to push the clip on each side. Okay, the defective switch is already removed. This one, we're going to replace. So, we already installed the replacement switch. So, we're going to connect on its connection.
Then we use a piece of string tube to cover the connection to prevent from short circuit that one So we are already finished replacing the defective switch and already connected an edge connection. So we are ready for our testing. But don't forget to use a jumper, this one, to force on your power supply. Okay our power supply is okay now so thank you for watching everyone and these are the input and output voltages of our 650 watts model this top power ground rgb 650 watts okay so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates don't, don't forget to click the bell button so thank you see you next time on my next vlog